addition to cooperation, as, as, you just met, as you just mentioned, what other qualities do you think are most important to being um, creative and being successful in designing video games? You have to have time to do it. It takes a lot of time, and a lot of students here are uh, too busy. They are working and taking classes and have a family, and mm -hmm. it's very hard for those students to, uh, to progress and, uh, and learn new things. Uh, so you have to have time, because it's very time consuming. That's one thing. And, um, and I, I think that, uh, what else, can you think of anything? I mean, obviously passion and interest, yeah. a desire. Interest. Patience, but, but, you have to be persevering. It's not always simple. You, you have one obstacle after another to overcome. Yeah. Uh, during summer of 2007, we were amazed by uh, the uh, uh, motivation and uh, interest of the students. Can you imagine three months of summer, they're coming in Monday to Thursday around noontime and going home at around 7 or 8 in the evening, all throughout the yeah. three months of summer. Yeah, yeah. We have to be there, of course not all the time, but we have to <coughs> be there to actually find out what's going on. And, and, and it's a very uh, uh, interesting experience. Uh, uh, Mark was one of them as well when uh, we had this uh, project Vector Force, uh, which began in summer of 2007. So David and I are thinking maybe we should write a paper on uh, motivating mm. uh, students uh, because they go beyond what is actually expected of them because of their interests. No, no, we you know we said it was voluntary. The work is voluntary, but actually we create a lot of opportunities for students <coughs> to get course credit. They can do independent study. They can do the work as a part of a regular course. We're actually integrating these project activities as part of our regular course offerings, you know. And uh, so there is that also. Mm -hmm. When you both were growing up, how did you first display your own creativity? What was the first thing that you did in any area where you remember thinking, this is what it means to create, this is what it means to do something different? Playing with blocks and <laughs> toys. I you know, used to make cities and armies. Well, uh, my background is uh, engineering when I was, uh, my bachelor's degree is in mechanical engineering. Um, I think uh, to me it's like um, learning how to love. Uh, uh, I, I was very poor in mathematics and geometry and physics in my high school. But uh, uh, during the, the, the last days of, uh, of high school before graduation, our, our uh, uh, advisor asked us to write what, you know, what major you will be taking after graduation. I don't know what to put on my, on my survey form. So I look at my classmate, what is he writing on his, on his survey form on my left? He said, engineering. <laughs> <laughs> and I look on my right, he's also writing this. So I say, okay, engineering. <laughs> uh, so I was struggling on my early uh, years uh, uh, in the engineering program, but I, l I began to love mathematics because of the logic and, and the discipline that uh, uh, it, it teaches me. So, um, you know, creativity in computer science, um, um, maybe um, it comparing it to art and uh, writing, uh, probably there is some similarities, but our objective is uh, probably different. Um, uh, like for instance, uh, on the shuttle aircraft, um, uh, because it is a, 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 a small space uh, of uh, things that, and they have to watch out the payload on that uh, aircraft, they will say, this is your space where your hardware will go in, okay. and this is the temperature that it will be working on, and there will be shock because of the of the shuttle aircraft uh, starting. And so the, the, the engineer of uh, the computer science uh, has that restriction to work with. So they have to be creative on how to fit in that constrained space, temperature, and, 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 and uh, probably the, the memory is very limited. So how to be creative to solve problems. That's, uh, I think, what, what, what we are. Uh, in, in this area, uh, what, what we are 
creative form, you know, solving problems and uh, being creative in your solution, given the constraints. In the last 10 years in the field of creativity, there's actually been a great interest to a lot of different creativity researchers, the idea of both creative with restraints, with constraints, and the idea mm -hmm. of, in certain areas, function being just as important as aesthetics. So if you build a bridge that's really pretty but falls down, that's not creative. Mm -hmm. um, which I find that very interesting to hear the same ideas coming out. When, when did you first fall in love with computer science? How old were you? What? Uh, well, I remembered in high school. So I remember writing programs in Fortran. And, uh, and I, it was natural and interesting. So I, I liked it from an early level. I, I, I mean, from high school. In addition to the reason of attracting students, what else made you um, decide to focus more on video game design? <clears throat> I mean, obviously attracting the students was one component, but what appealed to you about that aspect of computer science? Hmm. Oh yeah, well, it, it covers every area, so it's complete. Can right? you talk a little more about that? Just for those who aren't, don't know as much about computer science? Let's suppose, uh, say, take, a, take a, 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 a course we teach, compilers. So a compiler translates um, instructions written in a computing language, like C++ or Java, and it translates those into machine code that runs in the hardware. So you ha that's a program. It's a program that converts uh, written programming language into runnable machine code. And uh, so that's a big area. And it, it turns out in the, in the video game industry it's very important to, uh, to, to uh, it, for the purposes of, of developing uh, game-specific scripting languages. So you, you develop a, um, a, a computer language, a scripting language, that's uh, useful for solving problems, you know, of video game problems. So you have to use, you have to basically implement a compiler. So that's just one example. Uh, there's lots of other examples. I mean, operating systems, you have to be very aware of operating systems and the hardware. Design is important. Uh, those are the related to the constraints that you're operating under, because video games are very demanding. Right? Not like a like a website is not so demanding, unless you have a lot of traffic, of course. So uh, it it pushes, and you know, it's I don't know if you hear, but I hear it that it's actually the it's the video games uh, that's driving the development of microprocessors. Hmm. You know, without video games, there's there's much less. Um, push to improve hardware. So that's a, so it's a it's a big area, and it just it just covers everything. It just pretty much covers uh, all aspects of computer science, software engineering. Um, 